Welcome to the NRL previews for round five of the 2024 season. I'm Renee Gartner and I'm joined by Josh Mansour to unpack all the games this week. And we wrap up the round on Sunday afternoon in the nation's capital with the Raiders and the Eels. To the Raiders first and I wouldn't have wanted to have been in Ricky's change nope. rooms last week. Uh, but they have what it takes to rebound, which is probably one of their biggest strengths. They're going to really need everything in their armoury to really take on the Eels. Yeah, disappointing game last week against the Sharks, especially after that 18-0 um, lead in the first half. And um, they just couldn't have any answers after the Sharks pulled their way back into the game, and which is unfortunate because you know they were playing really good footy. Uh, I felt like they did turn over the ball a few times where it was very uncharacteristic. And I feel like the engine room, um, especially with Josh Papali and um, Joe Tarpane, they just didn't really step up. So they got a bit comfortable, I think, with that lead and uh, obviously came back to haunt them. So big opportunity this week to get back in the winner's circle. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think there was one player that Ricky didn't point out that he was not going to be giving a spray to at half time. The poor buckets. Uh, over to the Eels, though, and uh, they suffered another tough defeat as well, too. At the 11th hour to the West Tigers, they had plenty of opportunity, but they just weren't quite able to convert that possession. Yeah. Um, they showed up that they can fight. Yep. Uh, they really need to learn and, and turn over that possession without Moses. Yeah. He's still going to be in a, a little while. Well, you see, just said it, like that fight mm -hmm. what hasn't left them, which is a massive plus for the Parramatta Eels. And as long as they have that without Mitch going forward, they'll always be in the game, no matter what. And they definitely going to need to bring the fight to the Canberra Raiders this week down the nation's capital. The, the Raiders, I can't see them losing two games in a row off the back of their own performances. So Parramatta have to go down there and put their best foot forward. And again, they've got to knock down the front door because that's where Campbell are going to come. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, Bricky loves that go forward style for, uh, game, the physicality. But Parramatta got the got the tricks up their sleeve to match that as well with Junior Polo, Regan Campbell-Gillard, Sean Lane. So it's going to be a juicy game. I can't wait to see it, and I'm sure it's going to be a plenty of big hits in this one. Well, remember a couple of weeks ago, uh, Brad Arthur came out and told the boys, he's like, stop playing pretty footy, I want yeah. you to play gritty footy. Yeah. If you're now going up against a gritty side, like we're going to maybe see the most gritty parasite come out for well, this game. They can't afford to play pretty because uh, I think with Mitch out, like, that eliminates all that. So they have no choice but to play hard, play aggressive, and try and rattle, um, try rattle, sorry, the the Canberra Raiders. And if they can do that, big, big, big opportunity to win the game down in the nation's right, capital. Can they? They can, but um, I think they're up against it. Um, obviously, you got green around the room here right now, so I think that's the <laughs> omen. And uh, I think the Viking clap will be clapping again this weekend. All right, one Viking clap to clap us out. Very stiff in the shoulder. I'll give him my best go. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. Uh, unmissable matchups taking place all weekend. And if you want to see this match live, including the Viking clap done properly, head to nrl.com slash tickets. If you can't get to the game, though, you can watch it on Foxtel, Sky New Zealand or KO. Kickoff is at 6.15pm. Good finish. <laughs> Great finish. Well done. <laughs>